Hey there, happy Saturday. Uh, I stopped by the gallery today to uh, install a painting in a frame for a client and uh, she took that home and also to wrap up a little painting that's being shipped off to BC. So I thought I would make a little video showing you around some of the side galleries. Um, Holland has made a few videos earlier of the Kimberly Kyle exhibition so you got a good taste of that and I thought I would give you a little tour of the side galleries and see the other artists that we represent and what's on display currently in the gallery because we're closed and obviously no one's coming to visit. <laughs> so here we go if I can flip the camera. So here we have the lower level side gallery and just as you walk in we have a grouping of Rod Charlesworth paintings. I think they look so great grouped together like this. The little ones are super cute. We just received them not long ago, a couple months I'd say. And even though they're in different frames I think they make a nice little grouping. Give you a little close up on this guy. Got such nice texture. Rod Charles with paints with oils on canvas. So back up here, we've got a beautiful painting by Michaela Hopp from Saskatchewan. She just has such an amazing sense of light in her work. And um, I find them very romantic, just the way that the narrative invites you in, almost feeling like you could be the figure or part of the scene yourself. Here's another one of hers. Michaela also paints with oil on canvas, but her texture is very different than Rod Charlesworth right beside her. More of a fine texture. Then we have Cameron Bird. He's got another, he's another oil on canvas painter. Again, another very different texture. Sort of get a little closer here. Try and focus. He uses a really dry brush technique, which gives it that, that texture on the canvas and um, it's almost like a little bit of a rough look. Here we have Melissa Jean. This is part of a series of work. She works on a lot of um, birch trees. She lives by the lake, so she paints a lot of water and trees. Then down here we have on the left, Steve Coffey and Monique Fillion. I find these so amazing, the way she gets these brush strokes so fine. They're so interesting to look at. And then the background, so flat. Monique Filion and Melissa Jean are acrylic on canvas. Steve Coffey is another one who paints oil on canvas. Really nice texture there with his paints. Let me go up here to Sophie Paquette. She's got a very expressive acrylic on canvas brushwork and a little bit of pouring and um, what looks like a little bit of splattering, some shapes, a little bit of texture in her work. It's acrylic on canvas so you can see the light hitting it a little bit.
Got another one of Michaela Hops. Beautiful light coming through the trees. And you've got a figure there. Another Rod Charlesworth. We've got our three little gallery dogs by Hugh Rice. Hugh Rice is a Winnipeg artist and he's mostly a painter but he's just very creative in all sorts of ways so he likes doing some little sculptures every now and then. These guys are um, almost like like a plaster casting and the scarves that the dogs are wearing are colored by his paint. So these are actually cut up rags that he would have used to um, paint on his canvases and add paint and take away paint. Up here we have Tracy Kutravi, another one of our local Winnipeg artists. Incredible detail in work, her work, um, tons of color, really unexpected colors too. I'll show you a little bit of the detail here. Just amazing. All those little cellular pieces of paint, the outlining that she does. She does a lot of underpainting with pinks. This one here is a 48 by 18 inch painting with a black floater frame. Here we have another couple Sophie Paquette paintings. Really expressive florals, lots of movement. Fun and bright, just brightens up a room, adds lots of personality. We have another floral here by Melanie Simard. This is her floral series. She also has an abstract series that she signs Simard. This is acrylic and mixed media on canvas. And she pours a resin very thick on top of part of the painting. So you can sort of see where it's reflective there. And then part of it is raw canvas with just painted. Down here, another Rod Charlesworth landscape. And if we back up here on the top, we have Guy Roy or Guy Roy. That's one of his Quebec Charlevoix landscapes. Also oil on canvas, very textured. He paints most of his work with a palette knife. And Claudette Castonguay. Colorful. Beautiful, nice fall scene of a town. You'll often see bikes and cats in her work. You can look for that. Another one of her florals. It's a beautiful, just a floral. Nice for spring. Up here we have Jersey Werble. His work has been really popular in the gallery. We've sold a few paintings lately. He's got this great contrast in his work, a really dramatic light coming from either a sunset or a sunrise often, often an island or a lone tree. He lives in Ontario by the lake, so he likes painting lakes and trees. I hope you liked the brief little tour of our lower level side gallery, uh, just to see a few of the other artists that we represent in the gallery and what's hanging and what, 
it's on display. Um, unfortunately, we are closed right now, but if there's anything that you want to see uh, closer up, we can send you additional images of it hanging on the wall with a frame or just some, some close-up details. We can even do a little video of an individual piece for you. Um, so let us know. Let us know how we can help. Um, I know it's a different time, but, uh, you know, we can make it work. We'll show you what, what you want to see, and we'll bring it right into your home on video. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Bye.